Good afternoon. My name is Andy Krauss. I'm a sea turtle keeper at the Houston Zoo Sea Turtle Hospital in Galveston. And today we're joined by our partners at the, Gal the Gulf Center for Sea Turtle Research, which is based at Texas A&M in Galveston. And we have tw uh, 12 turtles today to release back into the wild. So these 12 turtles uh, cold stunned in the mid-January this year. Um, the, the water temperature uh, went below 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the turtles were um, searched for, rescued, and then brought into captivity um, and rehabilitated. Here in just a few minutes, okay? So just letting you know, like two minutes, we'll go ahead and start. Yeah, we're, we're going to be walking the turtles down on each side, so uh, you guys get a good chance to see the turtles and uh, get a few pictures, okay? Three of our turtles are going to have satellite tags on them. They'll be the first three turtles out. That's what those things are on their back. But we'll start in about a minute or two. So yeah, three of the turtles that are being released today have uh, satellite tags that are mounted on the top shell of the, or the carapace. Um, and they'll be able to be tracked by scientists in, in almost real time. So we'll have a better idea um, what the turtles are doing, where they're going, um, and help, help to protect them better in the wild in the future. So um, we work. Oh, you're going to break them up then? So this turtle here is the largest of the uh, 12 turtles we have here today, so it weighs uh, about 40 pounds. And one of the three that's also satellite tag. So for, for cold stunning, uh, when turtles become um, very cold in the winter and the water temperature is below 46 degrees, uh, their activity will decrease uh, and eventually they'll, they'll float at the surface and be unable to move. Um, and then at that point, if they're not rescued, they, the risk of uh, death increases as the hours uh, go by. So teams from Texas A&M, Galveston, and uh, Houston Zoo from the Turtle Hospital went out and found these turtles in the days following the uh, mid-January cold stunning. So again, we're at um, we're on West Galveston Island today, um, and we're releasing 12 green sea turtles back into the wild that were uh, re rehabilitated after cold stunning. So green sea turtles are the second largest of all sea turtles. So all the all the turtles we have today to release are all juveniles. The turtle in front of us is probably in the, in the range of 10 to 12 years of age. And uh, the green turtles, out of all the uh, six species of sea turtle, the green turtles take the longest to mature, uh, anywhere from 39 to 42 years of age based on the latest research. So these turtles have a long way to go before they are mature. Um, we got a question from someone asking about the tracking devices. Do they fall off eventually or do they stay on for So the tracking devices eventually will come off and then they'll be washed into shore somewhere. Um, so as long as the battery is still functional, they'll, they'll still track, so scientists can then retrieve the tags when they wash in. So this is the first sea turtle released for the Houston Zoo of 2024.
So, uh, yeah, again, we are um, at the first public sea turtle re release of 2024 for the Houston Zoo. And uh, we're releasing 12, sea, uh, 12 green sea turtles back into the wild. And green sea turtles are unique uh, out of all the sea turtle species as they are the only species that's primarily an herbivore. So they're eating plant matter, which includes macroalgae, sea grasses, um, and even sometimes um, terrestrial plant matter that'll wash into the ocean. So in a typical year, uh, the Houston Zoo and our partner, uh, the, Gal the Gulf Center for Sea Turtle Research, will release approximately 60 sea turtles back into the wild. There are a number of ways that the public can help save sea turtles. Among them, discarding uh, used fishing line properly or recycling it if possible, disposing plastic trash properly, and then um, the Houston Zoo also um, donates a portion of ticket sales for every ticket to conserve animals in the wild. So these include both the uh, three local conservation projects the Houston Zoo supports, and then also um, over 30 projects that are international. So the turtle right before us is probably in the three to four year old range, so still a very young animal.
and uh, uh, relatively minor issues. So most of them recovered uh, near the, the same time. So we were able to release uh, today 12 at once. But uh, we do have several others that are in rehab um, back at the Turtle Hospital that uh, we hope to release later this spring or early summer. Um, definitely seeing turtles come in. Um, obviously, you don't want you you don't want to see them in poor condition, but seeing them go from um, sick to healthy and then being released is really gratifying. So, um, um, giving them a second chance where they um, otherwise would have uh, probably died is, is very um, is very encouraging and um, and gives you hope for the species as well. So, a lot of a lot of human. Um, caused impacts uh, threaten sea turtles, so um, we can help uh, mitigate threats to turtles by uh, rehabilitating turtles that are sick and injured and, and releasing them back into, into the wild. So yeah, this may, I think there's one more turtle after the one in front of us. Yeah, again, if you're just joining us, I'm Andy Krause with the Houston Zoo Sea Turtle Hospital. And uh, today we're releasing 12 green, green sea turtles back into the wild. These animals are found cold stunned and unable to move in mid-January. And uh, after um, a little over a month and a half of rehabilitation, they're now being reintroduced back into the wild. Yeah, so this is the last turtle to release today, and uh, it's the smallest as well. So um, many sea turtles, uh, depending on the species, will change color dramatically from, from when they are juvenile to an adult. So this turtle still has a lot of dark coloration, typical of young juveniles. So when they're living at the surface in the open ocean as small turtles, um, the top shell, the carapace, is very dark colored, which helps them blend in um, with the water surface. And then on the bottom, they're very pale colored, which um, helps them blend in with the sunlight coming in from above. So predators above and below have difficulty seeing the turtles. So thank, 
thank you for joining us today to watch the sea turtle release. Um, we uh, at the Houston Zoo um, support numerous conservation projects, some local, some global. And uh, by visiting the Houston Zoo, uh, part of the ticket price of each entrance goes towards saving animals in the wild. Thank you. Good job, man.